Hello everyone. I have something interesting to say, and not many people are going to like it that are opposed to intactivism. So, uh, the argument people use a lot of the time for circumcision is that they grow up and that they say that they're glad that they were circumcised when they were a baby because they don't remember it. But here's the thing. Even if you think that's true for you, you're wrong simply because your agency was taken away from you. For that period in time, when you were a baby, you were literally worse than raped. And you have to have some sort of forgiveness in this equation here. You have to be able to forgive your parents for what they've done. If they do the right things you know what I mean so a lot of the time I think people are genuinely coping when they say that they they were glad they were circumcised I think that's genuinely a big cope but for the people who are <clears throat> truly um glad that they were circumcised you can't even say that it should have been done when you were a baby because babies don't have agency yet because they're babies well no let me rephrase that you have human rights regardless of whether or not you're a baby or not that's what I mean to say is that your human rights were violated when you were a baby so even if you say you are glad you were circumcised, you're saying, in effect, that you were glad that you got your human rights violated. Which sounds very wrong to the ear. Just, just hearing it. And saying it sounds worse. So it bothers me a great deal when people say that. And I just wanted to pick that phrase out in particular and bully it a little bit just because it irks me when people say that you know oh I thank my parents for my circumcision no you actually shouldn't according to moral um I was gonna say moral law but we don't have moral laws we just have laws and morals at this point we don't really um argue in our politics a great deal of morals and we should and the more that we should uh, discuss these morals the more the question of circumcision will come into light so I truly think that these um, petty little sayings that people have for circumcision really um, are deeply philosophically flawed and they should be pointed out when and where they exist. So I thought I would choose the crowd of people that say that they were glad that they were circumcised. Um, that may be true for you, but your human rights were still violated and you are owed something still, regardless of whether or not you were glad because your happiness, your emotions, don't have anything to do with it. It's all about morals and human rights. Emotions have nothing to do with morals and human rights. Except if it's a crime of passion. We'll, uh, you know, we'll argue in court for crimes of passion here in America. And that has to heavily deal with emotion. But other than that, I think our laws don't really care what you have to feel. So, um, sorry about your bad luck, or what you think may be good luck for you, but for the vast majority of people who are circumcised, um, well, everyone who was circumcised under the age of consent had their human rights violated, fundamentally. And so... Saying you're glad that you got your human rights violated just sounds bad to me. Um, that's about it.
sorry for sounding repetitive, but I thought I'd uh, bully this one into the ground here. Anyway, uh, have a good one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.